question of 2014, the question reads as, it's regarding a certain aquatic ecosystem, which of the following have coral reefs? Okay, which of the following have coral reefs? We are looking at Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Gulf of Kutch, Gulf of Manar, Sundarbans. Now, when it comes to coral reefs, one primary idea that you have to get into your head is coral reefs which are there in your tropical climate do not grow everywhere. They have certain conditions. They need to have the perfect temperature. They need to have water which is free of sediments. They need to have salinity. They cannot need or they cannot grow properly in fresh water. They need good amount of, yeah, these primarily these less, very less pollution, etc. If you look at all of these options over here, one option clearly does not fit the bill. If you look at Sundarbans, Sundarbans is filled with fresh water, constantly sedimented with different kinds of river flow. So, a coral reef cannot grow in your Sundarbans. Where else can it grow? It can grow in Andaman, Gulf of Kutch, Gulf of Manar. In all of these areas, they all occur on the coastline part. Their temperature is right, their sedimentation is right. So, here the answer to this question is 1, 2 and 3. So, the answer to this 2014 question is A. Now we come to a 2013 question. The 2013 question primarily deals with the 2013 primarily deals with in the grasslands, trees do not replace the grasses as a part of the ecological succession because of. So, here is the question. The they are saying that you have grasslands. Okay. So, in the grasslands, what do you have mostly? You have your grass. Okay. They are saying that, see, eventually at some point, trees should start growing over there, right? But trees are not growing. The tree is not growing in these areas. And they are saying that in the grassland, trees do not replace the grasses as part of the ecological succession. Why? What is ecological succession? It is the very sequential progression of one community after another community, after the next community, etc. What is community? It's a combination of different, different plants and animals. More than two kinds of plants or animals existing together is your community. Okay. So, what is happening over here is they are saying that grass is there, but after that tree is not growing. It's staying at grass only. And what is the reason? So, there must be some reason why the tree is not able to grow. No. What do trees need to grow? Trees need sunlight. Trees need proper water. Trees need good amount of nutrients. And yeah, that's it. Pretty much that. So, don't you think something is happening on that front so that the tree is not able to grow? And now you look at the option. Insects and fungi. See, if insects and fungi are there, it will affect the grass and the tree in the equal manner. It's not going to just affect the tree alone. So, insects and fungi is wrong. Next is limited sunlight and paucity of nutrients. Limited sunlight. Now, look at it. Sunlight is going to be, if at all any kind of tree, any kind of thing is going to be limited by sunlight, it is the grass that might grow under the big tree. But here, they are saying the tree is only not growing. So, what is, is it something to do with the sunlight? Because sunlight is not stopped by any sense. So, the limited sunlight is not the problem. I said nutrient problem can be there. But here, the option is limited sunlight and paucity of nutrients. So, paucity of nutrients can be there, but since limited sunlight is not a probable answer, that option goes. Water limits and fire. See, we are talking about grasslands. Do they have so much amount of water coming in and over there through your rainfall and everything? No. Trees need good amount of water to grow. If not, they will be stunted or they don't grow. So, you have enough water for your grass. The grass creeps growing and that is why you do not have enough water for a tree growth. That could be a reason. So, water limits fits. And what is this fire? And this is where you have to understand a very common phenomena in a lot of grasslands is the fact that when the grass keeps growing at a certain point when it gets, you know, the, it starts dying off and it gets dried up, the friction between grass, the different grass blades 
causes fire if it's in a very heated environment also it can cause fire once it causes fire what happens is that entire area gets destroyed now, once the entire area gets destroyed it does not go into the next stage which is the tree but then again from that destroyed area whatever spores of grass is there the grass creeps growing once again it grows maybe there is another fire that happens again and again it cannot move it's like stuck in that loop of things it's not moving to the next stage because there is water limits and fire so the answer to this 2013 question is c the ecological succession is not happening because of water limits and fire now we are at a 2013 question the question reads as which one of the following is the correct sequence of ecosystems in the order of decreasing productivity i want you guys to remember one major thing in your head which is productivity of an area is directly related to the plant growth in that area okay if you compare a land area and a water area, and again, I'm not talking about any areas in the middle, which is a mangrove or a swamp. If I broadly compare a land area and a water or a marine area, which is there, which is a salty condition, you have to understand there, there's a clear difference in plant growth. Okay. So, why, why am I saying plant growth in the first place? What is productivity? Productivity is the total biomass that can be produced in an ecosystem. Who is producing the largest number of biomass? It's the plants. They are the ones that are taking the sunlight, producing the food. So, dependent on the number of plants is what the productivity of that ecosystem will be determined. Here, they are speaking about four ecosystems. Oceans, lakes, grasslands, mangroves. Now, in your very, uh, what you say, uh, small thinking, uh, you know, just broad thinking of it, which one do you think will have the highest productivity? Let's start from there. The highest productivity out of all the four you have in your mangroves. Why? Because mangroves have both your water and your land elements. And in your land also, you have very high amount of growth happening. So, mangroves have good amount of growth. Which one would have the least Obviously, it's a water body that should have the least. Why? Because as I told you, the water body will have very less of plant growth. Why? Why again? Because the water body has very less of dissolved oxygen and dissolved carbon dioxide in it. They don't, they are not able to respire in a normal manner. They need dissolved oxygen and carbon dioxide. Now, the dissolved oxygen and carbon dioxide amounts are much, much less when it comes to water bodies. Got it. So, what happens? A water body should be the end. Now, the question is, will it be a lake and an ocean or an ocean? This is where you have to understand when it comes to lake and oceans, lakes have a little bit amount of growth which comes from the different sedimented areas, some nutrients, etc. There is a little bit more amount of plant growth. Oceans are in comparison to it much, much less. So, we are looking for an option where mangroves come first because it's decreasing. So, the highest will be mangroves and the lowest will be oceans. And the only option that comes over there in that sense is option C. Can you observe that over there? The saying mangroves, there's grasslands, there's lakes and oceans. So, mangroves highest. Then you have a land body which is grassland then a water body and then the final open ocean which is a larger water body. Understand? So, the answer to this 2013 question is C.